In this lesson, I'm going to show you a fun, cool sounding little exercise where you can run through all the diatonic arpeggios in D major. First, I'm just going to play through the exercise so you can hear what it sounds like. So what this exercise is about is just having some fun with uh, arpeggios. Uh, and I think one of the, the most fun arpeggios to play is this one out of uh, position number three. This would be D major, the D major scale position three. Uh, and the arpeggio or the chord, a D major chord would look like this. Um, so a major arpeggio is going to be one, three, five, one, three. So I always said I think this one's the most accessible for uh, most accessible arpeggio for people that aren't used to playing any arpeggios, which I don't do a lot of sweeping or anything like that. Uh, so this is the one that I like to use. And what this exercise does is it goes up through the diatonic chords in D major, uh, meaning like the one chord is D major, the two chord is E minor, the three chord is F sharp minor, the four chord is G, five chord is a. It's going to get a little tight up here. Then we got B minus, the sixth chord. Then C sharp minor, seven flat five. And then back to D. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking those of the chords that are that are derived from the key of D major, and I'm just going through and playing this arpeggio form for each one of those chords. I think it sounds really fun. Sounds like kind of a cool classical piece or something. Uh, anyone I ever show this to, they're like, ooh, I, I want to play that. So I thought... This would be a, a great little exercise. Uh, so if you've never run, kind of run any arpeggios, uh, I think it's a, a great way to learn how to play them. And it's actually really good uh, exercise for your fingers as well. All right, so let's go ahead and run through those arpeggios. The first one we're going to do is a D major arpeggio. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to go, it's going to look like this. Second one, the, the two chords are going to be an E, so it's going to be an E minor arpeggio. The third one uh, is F sharp minor, so we're going to do an F sharp minor arpeggio. Then a G major is the, the four chord, so we're going to play a G major arpeggio. This is basically, the whole exercise is basically two arpeggios. Uh, you know, you're either doing a major one, or you're doing a minor one. There is the seventh chord is a, like a diminished arpeggio, uh, but that everything else is just major minor. So it's kind of fun. You get and um, this exercise allows you to get used to what it feels like to run basically major and minor arpeggios. All right, so we had the five or the four chord, which is G. Now we're going up here to A, which is the five chord. Then we're going to go to B minor, which is the sixth chord. Then the seven chord is really a C sharp minor seven flat five, but the arpeggio or the just the, the roots thirds and flats is going to be one flat three five. So we're going to go one flat three flat five, and then we're going to go up here to one flat three flat five. That's by far that's the weirdest one. That's why if I, if I, I can play the other ones pretty smoothly, but for this one I always get a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, I think because because I naturally I want to put in that uh, double flat seven there. Uh, so I have to, my brain pauses for a second to make sure I don't play that. So that's the C sharp diminished uh, arpeggio, basically. And then we're gonna go back to D again and do a D major arpeggio. And that's the exercise. And if you can't play them fast, go through them really slowly. If you can't even kind of play them at all, then um, my advice would be to just pick one of them, just keep going over and over it. I tend to pick it all down, 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 down. I pick up, I do a pull off, and then pick up, 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 which is kind of, uh, kind of sweeping. Go on, can you see? Yeah, it goes down, 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 pick up, pull off, up, 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 up. So that way as you're playing it, it feels like you, it kind of feels like you're sweeping it. If you wanted to um, uh, increase your picking ability, you could you could alternate pick down, up, down, up, down. I don't even know how I just said it, but you just basically alternate pick each one, uh, and 
that's very good for your uh, picking skills as well. Another way you can come at this, if uh, you try this a little and you're like, okay, I get it, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, then what I like to do is I like to go up, go up, uh, go up an arpeggio like this one, I go up D. And then I like to slide up and then come back down the next one. So you're going. So that's a really fun exercise. I think that one sounds really cool. It feels really cool as well. Um, that's if you just get bored with the first one and you want to mix it up a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little D major arpeggio exercise. You don't have to just do this in D major. You can do it in any of the 12 major keys. So I'm going to include uh, down below uh, a PDF of my diatonic chords for uh, all the all the 12 different major keys. That way you can practice this exercise in anywhere on the neck in all 12 keys. Uh, if you have any co comments or if you like this lesson, leave a comment to, to comment down below or uh, you know feel free to uh, ask any questions that you may have. Now uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.